Ah, welcome to the video autofocusing test of the Olympus OMD EM1X. This is a micro four thirds camera that should have some of the best autofocus you can get out there for video. As a huge GH5 fan, I'm really excited to test it out, so let's get to it. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So today we're gonna test out the video autofocus capability of the em one X. It's got phase detection autofocus, which is basically, it should be what I'm hoping, is it will be like a GH5 with good autofocus. So we're gonna break it down into three tests. Test number one, we're gonna be out here in the woods. We're gonna see how it works. Can it track my face? Does it have to hunt? And will we see it in the background? That's why we're in the woods. So you should see a whole bunch in the background if there are problems. Two, we're gonna do like a vlogging test because I think this could be a phenomenal vlogging camera when you consider the stabilization, autofocus, and flip screen. And then three, we're gonna go back to the studio and do tap to focus tests and see how fast the autofocus works through everything that you might potentially use it for a YouTube video. So let's get started. Record, so we'll do both. Okay, so again, this should have nice face tracking. The face tracking is not working. Maybe face tracking doesn't work when you hit record, like you can't see it, like what? So you can see it, it just doesn't wanna... Okay, so lesson learned. You lose the face tracking box when it's recording? How does that even make sense? So what we'll do, we'll just record it. Uh, we'll just record it through the... That's so weird. Okay, well lesson number one, you lose the box in autofocus when it's recording internally to the camera. That's strange. That's like a weird... That's a weird thing I've never seen before, but yeah, let's... Let's do some walks. I, again, I don't know how well this autofocus system works. I've never used it. I've never actually used an Olympus camera before. This is my very first uh, Olympus camera, so I'm excited to get to it. Again, I've heard nothing but good things about Olympus in the past, and I'm excited to try them out. Did it get me? Looks like you got me, but like, one of the things I'm noticing, not necessarily about the autofocus, but about like exposure is, it's uh, auto exposure is, is it might not be having my face in priority, which is important. Okay. I can't tell if it's losing me or not, but it still has the box around my face, which is pretty, pretty important, right? How's it doing? I've got, so I've got the, uh, we're recording this through the Ninja 5 right now, and I've got focus peaking on. So I can see that it looks like it's got me. One, but again, what's important to me is to know that the background, like right there, I think it just I think it just lost me for the background. Like I think it's doing some hunting right now. And that's the thing, right? Like there it's definitely hunting right now. That's the thing about like I was hoping that this could be cuz I love micro four thirds. I don't think it has me in focus right there at all. Um, I like micro four thirds. Um, I really wish Panasonic would release a Micro Four Thirds camera, much like the Sony cameras that have really good autofocus. This is the Sony A6400 that is the other camera we're using today. Um, but generally, Micro Four Thirds cameras don't really have that good of autofocus, and I was really hoping that with the phase detection system on this uh, EM1X, that it would be amazing. So let's let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's doing a good job if you're going from like nothing to something. Like there, I, does it does it have me? I can't, I can't really tell. I think it's doing a good job, like picking my face up when there's nothing around, and then like something pops into focus, and then something pops into frame, and it, it, it looks like it's doing that. But maybe my sunglasses are confusing. We may have to go into non-sunglass mode because the box is around my face. I mean, it's got me. Let's give it. Let's take the sunglasses off and see if that helps. I mean, I'm not doing this thing any favors by having this huge backlit scene right here, but again, it's an autofocus test. It's to see how it works in uh, trying conditions because you're not just gonna be able to have a camera uh, not be in trying conditions. There, the background's in focus. Back to me. I think it, does it, does it have me? I think it has me. So we'll see, we'll just, we'll do one more, like uh, pass down below to see when it can actually pick up the face so I found Canon is really good with it. Sony's really good with it. Panasonic's good with the box showing up. Uh, it's really good with the getting the box to actually show up, but showing the autofocus, like getting the autofocus to actually work is not something that it's good with, which is unfortunate. There we go, it's got my face pretty far back there. Are we in focus? You know, I'm not able to review this. You guys know what it looks like. I hope the autofocus is working perfectly fine. It is freezing out here today. It is a cold one, how's it? We're using the Leica 12 to 60 
2.8 to f4, which is one of my favorite lenses of all time, which lets you get really close focusing distances. Look at the everyday dad's face. Hey, what's up my face? Glad I brushed my teeth. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to see how this autofocus is going to be working. I do feel like it, uh, just from looking at the focus peaking, um, it's not been the best, um, which kind of breaks my heart because I do want this to do well uh, because it's expensive. Like this is an expensive camera. <laughs> this is one of the most expensive cameras I've ever uh, used. At 3,000 US dollars, um, it's pricey. Okay, so we've done the static so we've done the static test, now we're gonna do the vlogging autofocus test, see if it can hold focus on me as we're like walking around. So let's set that up because we're gonna have to take the monitor off as we found out that the box leaves if you hit record, which is not normally a big deal, I think. Why would you ever wanna do that unless you're making a specific YouTube video about it? Okay, see you in a second. Okay, we got the OMD EM1X set up in vlogging mode. Look at that huge honking camera. I do, I like it though, because I always put a battery grip on all my cameras anyway, so let's get to it. Record. There's the A6400. Here we go. So this isn't necessarily a vlogging test as I normally do vlogging tests. This is strictly to see how the autofocus is working. This should be doing really well with stabilization. I have the, I have the full stabilization turned on, the electronic and the sensor stabilization. This should do better than the GH5, uh, but I think that's when you use the Olympus lenses. This is a Panasonic lens, so it should be okay but it's not gonna be like, it shouldn't be breaking any like crazy grounds. Again, we have it in aperture priority mode, so the shutter speed might go in a little crazy. Again, this is not necessarily a vlogging test so much as it is a vlogging autofocus test. So is it keeping me in focus as we're walking around? That's the most important part because again, a lot of people use these cameras when they're vlogging, they want stable cameras that have good autofocus and a good flip screen. And this might be the first camera to have all of that put together into one package. So that's why we're just going to wander around, see if the autofocus holds. All of this backlit should be driving the autofocus system mad if it's not any good, which is the whole reason we're out here. You don't want to make it too easy and then say something like, oh, it's amazing. And then the first time you take it outdoors and there's like backlights and there's other lights or there's other faces in the frame, you know, you want to give it a good solid test, right? Right. <laughs> So again, I can't tell, uh, when you hit record, this is the strangest thing I'm finding out right now, is once you hit record, you lose the autofocus box around your face. Like, why? Why would you lose that? Like, that's such a strange thing to like, get rid of. Like, if you're gonna have it, why not just keep the darn thing? Like, on the A6400 over here, look, we're recording. Recording, but the box is still around my face. Like, that's so strange that that goes away. It would make me feel better knowing that that's what the, can I tap into it? Nope, you can't tap into, can I tap like on the background? Lens flare. <laughs> so yeah, we'll head back to the studio. There, we'll, we'll help the camera out a bit. We'll head back to the studio, we'll see how it works in my method of videography where I do a lot of product stuff. So we'll see how well the tap to focus works when you're doing product videos. Okay, see you there. <laughs> okay, here we are inside of my studio and we're gonna be doing something that I do a lot and that's tap to focus when I do like product shots. So right now we've got the GH5 overlooking the OMD EM1X and let's give it a shot. We got a little bit of a, a neat scene here where we're watching Monday's video of the unboxing of the OMD EM1X. So let's just do some tap to focus where we're tapping on the, uh, where we're tapping on the video and we're tapping on the hat, the very important Ohio State hat. And look, so I've gotta be honest, I'm really, really impressed with the autofocus on this camera. We're using the 25 millimeter 1.7 Panasonic lens to give it that little bit more of a shallower depth of field, make it a little more obvious when the focus is or is not working. And darn it, it is, I mean, just like we saw outdoors in both the static and the vlogging test, the autofocus on this camera just works. I find very little warping happening and look, so look, I've got a tap to focus on a hat, but a face will still show up in this frame, but it stays on what I want in focus. And that's a problem you'll run into with cameras like the GH5 that have contrast-based autofocus and that it will have to hunt or it will decide what it wants to be in focus, not necessarily what you want in focus. So I'm, I'm darn impressed. I gotta be honest, the OMD EM1X is probably the best focusing micro four thirds camera I've ever seen. Like I'm incredibly, 
incredibly impressed. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna set up one more like tap to focus test where I've got a little loom cube back here that's illuminating the hat over here. I'm gonna swap, I'm gonna put the video in the background and the hat up front. Maybe the backlit scene will make it a little bit harder for the autofocus to work. So let's switch it up right there. We're still learning how to, we're still learning how to use the loom cube. Okay, so autofocus, yeah, it just, darn it the autofocus just works. Like I am, I've again, I've never used an Olympus camera first time and if this is how all their cameras work, I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, it should work for three grand, right, without the lens, but yeah. Okay, I have no problems with this autofocus. For video, I think Olympus has delivered on its promise of having really good video autofocus. If you'd like to see more videos about other cameras, there will be a whole playlist right here. Thanks for watching.